we will briefly discuss uh, two classes. They are very easy to understand, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. One is um, user interface, the other one is that automated tester. The user interface is a fairly simple uh, program, although it is quite long. It is not very difficult to understand. It has a number of uh, static fields that correspond to the various commands. You can see that like exit is zero, help is 12, issue books is three, etc. And uh, it is a singleton. And when you create a user interface object, it asks whether uh, we should retrieve the data that is on disk, if, if there is one. Otherwise, it creates a library object and gives the option to generate a test bed. There are a number of uh, helper methods like get token, given a prompt, this will display that prompt and get a string read in from the keyboard. This will display, yes or no, will display this prompt and wait for Y or capital Y from the keyboard or look for a no answer. So if you get Y or capital Y, this method will return true. Otherwise, anything else would be a false. This will, get number will display this prompt and come back with a number. This will, get date will get a date in the MMDDYY format. Get command will look for a command that is between zero and 12, exit and help. So most of these methods would be very useful to you, except possibly date, get date. Then we have a help method, which also would be useful to you. You can simply modify these to, at least it gives you a structure, right? Then we have one method for each of the commands like add member. I'll just go through one of them. Add member will prompt for the member name by calling get token, then get token will get the address, get token will, this get token will get the phone. Then we call the libraries add member. And if the result is null, there was a problem. Otherwise it prints out whatever you got back. And we have uh, similar methods for all the other commands, uh, you can go through them. There is nothing very difficult about them. They basically prompt the user for the input and call the facade. That is the library method responsible for carrying out the task. Then it looks at the return value and prints out an appropriate message. The only couple of methods that I want to show are save and retrieve. So the save method saves the library object onto disk and the retrieve object helps you retrieve the stuff from disk. And here is the overall loop for processing the commands. This would also be very helpful to you. In fact, a save and retrieve also would be useful. First, it displays the help menu and then goes into a loop until the command is equal to exit. And if the command is not equal to exit, it looks at the command and calls one of the many methods for invoking the functionality. And here is the main method that simply fires up this process method to get the loop going. Finally, 
let's take a look at uh, this class automated tester as i said this is just showing you how to go about creating a test but it is not an exhaustive test of the library system by any stretch of imagination because if i gave you an exhaustive test you wouldn't understand it very clearly here you can kind of see what is going on this automated tester is given a library object to work with and it calls this test method what does it do i have i'm going to create a bunch of members that's pretty much it how do i do that i have the names stored in an array so the names are n1 n2 and n3 I, this is much easier than storing long names that you can't remember. Addresses are A1, A2, A3, phones P1, P2, P3. So you can see that they're all um, having the same uh, numbers attached. The first name is N1, first address is A1, first phone is P1, etc. I have, uh, I'm creating three members here. So I go into a loop. For every name, I'm iterating once. I create a member with the name, address, and phone drawn from these three arrays and add that to the members array. So, members array would have each of those member objects. After adding, I verify that the name, address, and phone number of the three members are as I expected. See, here I don't have to follow any of the disciplines we imposed while designing the system. I'm testing the system. So I don't care whether I have a coupling with the member class. That is immaterial. I'm testing stuff. So I have a member array. I, will, I can have a book array. I can have hold array, everything, whatever I need. And I'm asserting that each of the member objects would have the name that I expected, the address that I expected, and the phone that I expected. If there is any mismatch, these assertions will fail and I will get an error message. Remember that you have to set enable assertions when you run this. So when you run the automated tester, you have to go to run configurations and in the virtual machine, argument you have to write minus ea in lowercase 